Okay, so here's the uh, y to delta and delta to y transformation. So this is the delta connection. Three nodes are forming triangle while y connection is that three resistors connected in one node. Okay, how do we solve y to delta or delta to y transformation? So here, where r delta are all the impedances in the delta circuit which leads to the formula okay, the R of the resistor Y will be the product of the adjacent divided by the sum of the resistors or impedance. While if you want to know the uh, resistor equivalent in delta, that is the diba, ito na yung delta, you want to know RA. That should be the sum of alternating product over the R opposite. Again, that is, for you to get the R of Y, it will be equal to the product of the adjacent resistor divided by the sum of all the resistor. So, this is for you to know the, the Y equivalent from delta connection. While, if you want to know the R delta equivalent, it will be the sum of the alternating product of the R divided by the opposite R. Why do we need this summary of conversion? For you to make it easier, hindi nyo na kailangan i-memorize. For example, you want the R1 of the Y, you need to memorize the position of the, the, the resistors given here. Eh, that is prone to mistake. You want to convert this into an equivalent Y. Gagawin mo dyan is, hindi do-drawing on your sheet na You will draw the alternate Y here. So, therefore, for you to be able to know this equivalent, okay, let's say, it, ito na ngayon yung R1. R1 would be the product of the adjacent. So, that is RA times RC divided by the sum of all the resistors, so RA plus RB plus RC. So, hindi nyo na kailangan i-memorize itong individual na to. If you want this one naman, that will be the adjacent RA times RB divided by the product of all the resistors. In this one, that will be RB plus RC, uh, RB times RC because of the adjacent divided by the sum of all the resistors. So, if this one naman, if you want the Y, so, magkakaroon yun na yun na ganito. 1, 2, then 3. So, for you to know naman, the delta equivalent of that, so, for this, that will be the sum of the alternating product, meaning R2 times R3 plus R3 times R1 plus R1 times R2 divided by the opposite. That is the conversion or transformation of y to delta and delta to y. Okay, so here is the example. This will lead to a y, y to delta transformation. Why? Because after making the series of these two, it will yield to a circuit where three resistors are connected in one node. So, solve natin siya. So, let's say this will be your RA and this is RB. So, RA is simply equal to 5 plus 35 is equal to 40 ohms. Then, our RB is equal to 15 plus 10 resulting to RB of 25 ohms. After doing that, we now have it will be like this. Okay. So, this is your RA. Then, this is 10 ohms. Then, this is RB. Then, 12, 15. Then, this one is 10. So, this now is Y connection. So, that means you need to convert that into delta. So, this one will be RC, RD, your RE. So, if you want to know the value of RC, 
RA times times 10 plus 10 RB plus RARB divided by what is the opposite resistor of RC? So this one, opposite niya is this one. So that is RB. And that will be equal to then when we want the RD, but now the opposite of RD will be RA. So RA this one will be equal to 40 naman yung nasa ilalim niya. RC is 66 ohms. Power R, E will be equal to, of course, maraming ulit natin to. Pero yung kanyang denominator, hindi na siya A. But, the opposite of R, E is 10. Again, 0.25 ohms for R, D, while this one is 165 ohms. Then, since ganun na siya, then we can now have R, D parallel sa 12. Then, RC, parallel sa 15 for our RF and RF, hindi si DEFG. <laughs> so, yan na daw siya. So, having that equation, so RF is equal to 15 parallel sa RC. Then, so that is 15 times 15 RC divided by 15 plus RC. Then, May value yan. Then, our RG is equal to 12 RD divided by 12 plus RD. Then, our RH will be equal to RF plus RG. R equivalent will be equal to 10 plus RH parallel sa RD. 12.2222 ohms. Then, RG 9.295 ohms. RH is equal to 21.518 ohms. Then the R equivalent, 29.035 ohms.